When the White House is the destination, sometimes it feels like it's all aboard for candidates no matter what their chances really are. So which races in the past 50 plus years have had the most candidates? Get on the bus. In 2020, the Democrats filled the seats trying to unseat incumbent Donald Trump. Eventually, Joe Biden took the wheel and beat a field of 10 more Dems trying to regain the White House, and he did. It was an even bigger group of blue back in 1976. The bus was filled with a dozen Dems trying to defeat Gerald Ford, and Jimmy Carter came out on top. The Republicans had a dozen candidates of their own riding the red route to the White House. Bob Dole eventually found his way to the driver's seat, but couldn't cross the finish line at Pennsylvania Avenue. Thirteen Republicans packed the bus in 2000 when George W. Bush eventually weaved his way to the front and then pulled into the White House after a pit stop at the Supreme Court. But the biggest turnout of Republicans was in 2016. Seventeen candidates piling into the double-decker bus, hoping to weave through the traffic and win the nomination. And Donald trumped them all. And now, the 2024 bus is gassed up and ready for the next historic ride. All aboard?